We're animals that swim, and I'm Hank. And this is Del. I'm Del. And the rest of the band aren't here, so I'm not going to talk about them too much. Um, we've been going for about three years, and we've made a few records. And our new record is just coming out, and it's called Work Shy. So what do you think of the new record, Doc? Do you, do you think it's a good idea to bring flasks of tea to your gig? Actually, yeah, I have very strong opinions on that. Uh, what do you think? Flasks are intrinsically part of British culture, and I think that they sh there should be more of them around. Uh, and I just... That's my pint I'm drinking there. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, so carry on about flasks. Well, I prefer, like, the, um, the thermos flask, the particular... The tartan design yeah. is a particular favourite of mine, with a double cup on top, because the one with the, the thread on, if you get one with a thread on the top, it kind of like cuts your lip a bit when you yeah. drink it. So it's nice to have a little smooth lipped plastic one inside. And what about, you know, if you're bringing a picnic to a gig, say, and you want to have some food, you know, we'll get hungry at gigs. You might have a few beers, throat gets a bit dry, it's starting to choke. You've got to have something to eat. What are you going to eat? What will you bring? I think I'd like a cheese sandwich in a situation like that. What about those little boiled eggs wrapped in tin foil? I prefer a scotch egg with something with a bit more flesh, you know, sausage you meat. What, scotch? You mean you eat meat? Well, I have been known to, yeah, no. Right, well, um... I think I'd bring a little bit of salt in a little package to put the boiled egg in. Before animals that swim, yes, I was a dishwasher and um, I washed a lot of dishes and also I had a job where you scrape the cheese off the outside of the cheese, like the rind, and then they took all the little bits of cheese down the end of the factory and made it into those little triangles, <laughs> those little craft triangles. I had that You're not allowed to use names like that. And a clean toilets and... Um, and uh, for animals that swim, I worked in various places. I've um, worked in a mental hospital. I've driven a bus full of old people around. Um, I've worked in a cheese factory too and I've worked yeah. in the little light. Yeah, when, I you, when you want to stop it... When you want to stop the um, conveyor belt of the cheese factory, you get your scraper and you throw it in the conveyor belt and all these alarms go off, nee, nee, like that, and you can stop working, you can have a beer, sit down. I normally find that if you, you know, like you get cheese shaped like that, if you put it the wrong way up and it goes down the line, when it tries to spit the label on it, oh, can't yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah what do you mean, cheese like, what, French cheese? <laughs> yeah, no, it was German brie, actually. All <laughs> oh, right, so get a bit of European <laughs> cheese in there. But brie is a French brie? cheese. I couldn't understand, right? If brie is What's, what's Emmental? Oh, that's a holy cheese from um, is that the one the Swiss, isn't it? Like yeah. the classic cheese that's like nice cheese, my seat type of thing. Yeah. Let's have a riot of car for heaven's sake. Let's dress you all up as monsters and angels. I think Hank's, like, a genius. I agree with that. <laughs> uh, we all love each other, of course. Yeah, we all love each other, of course. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in a band together. I mean, you know, like, bands, a lot of bands, they like to moan about how they have a rift, you know, and the two songwriters have a rift, and they're always trying to kind of... But it's just one of those tough macho poses that rock and roll bands like to go on about. I think it's a load of rubbish myself. You should be mates if you're going to be in a band together. Otherwise, what's the point? We did have a fight the other week, though, didn't we? And I threw you on that BMW. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that was just for fun, though. Yeah. My message to the people of the world is that if you go to the park and the paddling pool's completely empty, remember, you can always play football in it. Well, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, cheers.